Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 26, Transits. Yes, we're up to Part 26. In today's episode, we did a fair amount. We had, since last time, re-listened to the shadow and light work we'd done in the last cycle. We shared those compositions and animations, and we got appreciative feedback, and they even wanted to know what composing tool we were using. And what we noticed is that both one and two minute duration pieces seem to be appreciated, and both the traditional harmony piece, the recorder and violin, and the hybrid harmonies, which was the shadow plus light, seem to be appreciated. So that's encouraging. Um, we did a little inventorying of our work because we're kind of looking our transit theme. What do we work on next? And we realized that we have worked with the hybrid theme and the Raga and Sight theme. So we've got a good piece going. That's the Duck Walk Octet and the Turtle Sestet. We've got a good standalone dark piece. That's the recorder violin. Then we've got a good standalone hybrid shadow which is the shadow plus light piece, and we have a good standalone light piece, which is the one we finished the other day. We had a little confusion because we were calling it the dark standalone. It's actually the light standalone, and we had to kind of go around and, you know, double click all these, you know, strike throughs, but we got it handled. No big deal. So that came about because we were double checking our most recent standalone. And what we realized is after completing this inventory, what we really have as an as a place to go next is to do a composition with the standalone shadow scales. So that's what we started working on. We corrected the stuff, we re-inventoried, and then we made ourselves a uh, here it is scale figures D flat one three three one to work with, and we made ourselves on the right hand side a whole new blank score to start copying from the left hand side into the right hand side, which is if some of you were here, remember exactly how we did the the last piece. The, the trick or the thing we're interested in doing here is using both hops and rolls together. So we used hops to do the recorder piece. That was this one. And we used rolls to do this one. And we're saying, well, what if we do hops and rolls down here? So... Okay, that's composing by pattern and, and look ahead. Um, but that's why we took the time and trouble to extract all the... And then we spent some time listening to these and kind of trying to enumerate because we noticed some interesting differences. For example, let's say we come down to the... Oh, I don't know. The minor. We're, we're in the minor here. And if we come down to the major, why not? No, let's come down to the uncommon fool, because that's that that was uh, that was really interesting to listen to. Never mind, we'll just do this. We kept saying, well, how, you know, if you have how many hops elements do you have? Okay, and then how come there's so many rolls? Well, the answer is there's five. Hop elements, one, two, three, four, five, but each element only has two notes in it. That's how a hop works. In a roll, though, you, you have to roll from the first note to the upper one. So if you roll one, you skip over one in the middle, you have three notes per element. Three times five is 15, whereas here is two times five is 10. And so the mystery, the great mystery was solved. And then it got really interesting when we came down to things like, oh, I don't know, two up and two down like this one. Two up, two down. And then we do the roll down. I 
I know you were listening for that. That's the root. So that was fun. So we listened to all of these things and played around with them and just immersed ourselves in these figures. <laughs> and then we said, well done. We've got a score ready to compose in. Let's recap. So our ideas for next time is to post the updated movie. All we had to do was change the name and then begin composing into this blank new work score from, from this side in earnest. So we look forward to seeing you in the next episode and we appreciate your time and interest and patience with today's episode and see you next time and as always keep on streaming.